Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 33rd Qt tutorial with uh, C++ and GUI programming. I'm going to continue our topic of threading, and rather than having you sit here and watch me type a bunch of code, I wanted to have some already written, because we've gone over this. Alright, we've just got a our main file, and we have created a thread, or I should say we've created a subclass of Qthread. Um, some have argued that this is not the correct way of doing this, and I've been reading up on the correct way of doing it, and we'll be covering that soon. Interestingly, though, this is the correct way of doing it according to Qt's own documentation and three books that I've read. So it's kind of interesting to see the the disparity between the different parties where some saying you subclass, some saying you don't subclass, and I'm trying to really understand the differences between the two. But that, anyways, sorry, it's outside the scope of this tutorial. Um, what we're going to try to do today is launch a thread, and it's just a very simple, you know, for int i equals 0 to 1000 and it's just going to print it out but we want to know when this thread ends we want to actually wait for it to end and then do something I mean if we just save and run it now it just goes to a thousand and we have no idea when it actually ends so what you do here is you say mthread wait and what it does is it creates a wait condition where you literally sit and wait for that thread to complete. And then when you're done, you can uh, let's actually just include let's include QDebug there. That way we can just print something out. QDebug. And we will say done, just so that we can see that we have in fact waited for that thread to complete. Save and run. And when you run it, you notice how it goes all the way up to 999 and then says done. Well, that went by pretty quick, so let's actually put a sleep in there just so we can see this this thing hard at work here. And we'll say oops. Millisecond sleep, and let's just say 100. And we don't want to sit here all day, so let's just really kick this down to 10. And I better actually increase that a little more because I'm going to have to drag the window out. So, what this is going to do is count from 0 to 9, and it's going to sleep half a second in between each time. And at the end, it's going to say done. This would be useful, say, if you wanted to uh, copy a file or something, and then once the file is done, you want to continue doing something else. So let's compile and run. And we'll just see it count down. And once the thread is done, it says done. So pretty simple stuff. Um, you should note, however, though, that while you are waiting for that thread, nothing else happens. So if you, you know, some code here, it's not going to execute because this thread, this current thread, is in a wait condition. It's waiting for this thread right here to finish. So that's a, a pitfall that I've fallen into once before. So if you make that mistake, don't sweat it. We all do it. This is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.